Welcome to the Take 5 with Fenimore series. We are joined today by Will Preston, Portfolio Manager, FAM Dividend Focus Fund. Will, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Rachel. It's a pleasure to be here. So to start, can you share a little bit about your background and your role at Fenimore? Uh, yeah, actually, my first experience with Fenimore came in the summer of 2010. I was uh, an intern on, on the research team. And after I finished up college, I went on to uh, work in this field in finance uh, down in the New York City area. And it's kind of a funny story. So my uh, wife, you know, girlfriend at the time, my wife, we were, we were both from this area and we were moving down to New York City. And she had said, you know, is there there's a chance we can move back to this area at some point though, right? You know, our families are from here. And I remember that conversation very vividly. Uh, it was on our move down and I said, uh, yeah, we could, but there's really only one firm I could work for in this area, and it was it was Fenimore. Um, having known you know how great of an institution it was uh, from the internship days, and you know you don't really think of those opportunities coming up uh, often, but uh, lo and behold, you fast forward about five years, we're into um, late 2015, and Fenimore had reached out because they. You know, we had kept in touch and there was an opportunity that was opening up on, on the research team and I was very fortunate enough to uh, be able to land the job, uh, move back into the area, uh, join Fenmore in the beginning of 2016 uh, as a research analyst, which is what we all are here on the research team where we look, study businesses and try to pick uh, good stocks. And more recently in mid 2020, I was promoted to be the portfolio manager of the FAM dividend focus strategy. What do you see as the biggest misconception about investing held by investors? You know, there's there's quite a few of them, actually, uh, that I think we fight uh, fairly frequently. But one that comes to, to top of mind is is really just the timing of the market. And, and I say it from a perspective about I often see people think, especially in this environment where we're near all time highs, that it's just too late to get invested. And when you look at sort of the statistics of the market, you know, the S&P typically operates about 7% of all days is the day it's hitting a new all time high. And there was a, another point of a, a bank made, uh, had a study that they looked back over the last 33 um, years. So since 1988, and they looked at uh, if you just picked on any given day over the last 33 years and just randomly invested in one of those uh, days, how often would you make money one year later? So how often would your investment be up? And it's 83% of the time. I mean, there's not many games where you can be, you can play and, and be right 83% of the time and come out as a winner. There's this whole idea about timing the market and you're probably too late to get invested. But when you really look at it, I understand that the belief that stocks just tend to go up over time. It's not this scholarly insight, but it's a winning insight. What is the best advice you've ever received about investing? So the best advice I've received, it's not specific from one person, but it's just, you know, a constant theme that you've heard from you know, many colleagues and professionals in the industry. And it really gets back to understanding how big money is really made. And, and that's not in the buying and selling, but in the waiting. And, and that really relates to just understanding the power of compound. And we have, um, great example that you know everyone's probably heard the question would you take a million dollars today or would you take a penny that doubles every day for 30 days and you know given the nature of the question people kind of catch on and say oh, I'll take I'll take the penny I'll take the penny and it's the right answer but most people don't really understand the math behind it and you know a penny that doubles every day for 30 days is like five million dollars but you don't break even on that proposition till the 28th day, so 93% of the time. And in fact, 80% of the money you make in that investment, so four million of the $5 million is in the last two days. And so you really, when you take and break down the math behind that, you understand the nature of compounding and what type of returns you can generate if you can wait. Um, and so understanding that's been, been incredibly important uh, for my investment career. And you learn that if you're just focusing on positioning yourself to profit from short-term trends, you're just not gonna have good long-term outcomes. What do you like most about working at Fenimore? Oh, that's a great question. And uh, I just, I do love coming into work every day and it was, it was good to think about why I love coming into work every day. And there's the, just the job itself where I'm just not doing the same thing on any given day. And you just know you're gonna learn something new every day. 
but specific to Fenimore, it's just the people that I work with. And so I come into, and I give you a good example, I come into work and, you know, the things that get me excited uh, about talking about a business or a stock or you know, profit margins or something, and I can go into the, the office next door to me and talk to one of my, my research colleagues and just say something that's on the top of my mind and their eyes will light up and we'll have a 30 minute discussion on it. And it's that type of passion um, with my colleagues that, you know, really, really makes me enjoy working at Fenimore. What makes Fenimore different? Since day one, you know, Tom Putnam has developed this culture of just giving back and investing in their associates and charities in the community. And that has created this, you know, people first, family oriented culture that is very tangible from the day that you start working here. And, you know, it's one of those things, that culture and that attitude that he's done a great job making sure it permeates every aspect of the business. And it's one of the things that I would say makes me most proud when I go out in the community to say, I work at Fenimore. The Take Five with Fenimore series is brought to you by Fenimore Asset Management. To learn more about Fenimore Asset Management and to view important disclosures, please visit us online at www.fenimoreasset.com.